Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. Today we're talking about plant nutrient deficiencies. How to figure out if you have one, how to figure out what you're deficient in, and how to fix it. We started off in the first part of the series with uh, is it actually a deficiency or do you got something else going on, maybe some lockout. In the second part, we talked about specific mineral deficiencies and how to deal with them. And in this third part, we're gonna be talking about the step-by-step -step steps you go through to fix the whole situation. And then there'll be a part four where we're gonna talk about uh, actually Herculean harvest and uh, Bloom Chaos are good examples of places where you're pushing really hard and you make a deficiency and how to deal with that. So. Tim McCormick from Cultured Biologics was here. He was our guy, helped us with this. We did him a couple days ago. We did the four the interview type things with him. This is the third one. Watch the video and I'll talk to you after. Okay, we're back here with Tim. Now, the other day we talked about um, how to diagnose if you have a deficiency. And the day before that, we talked about if you actually have a deficiency going on or if it's something else with some lockout, that sort of thing. So I think what I'd like to do today is kind of summarize so that you can watch those two videos. I'll link those up as far as the specifics of it, but a little bit of an overview of the whole process in a practical sense of how you do it, what, where you start, where you finish with step by step and you know how that goes. Well, we'll go ahead, do it. Um, well, the first step is make sure your pH and your part per million is on point with the slurry. Um, use your part per million meter, use your pH meter, Make sure if you have a problem, your plants are looking weird. You first take then figure out the pH of the soil and the part per million of the soil. Once you you know figure out you either have a, a low pH or a high pH or your pH is on point and your part per million is low, you know you have a deficiency of some kind. Okay. Um, just like in the other past video, you know you have tiger striping for magnesium deficiency. You have a slow gradient from on your big fan leaves of a yellow to green. Uh -huh. That's a nitrogen deficiency. Okay. Um, you have the eagle claw downwards, which is usually a calcium deficiency or a potassium overload. Um, and and it's just reading the plant. Okay. And finding out what it tells you in accordance to your, your slurry. So, so I'm, I'm going to fix that, that slurry situation no matter what. So And then fix the deficiency right. and maybe do some foliar feeding in the in the short term to right. kind of keep my plant on life support while I'm doing that. Yep. So I've done that. I've done my, I've got myself in line. I've done some slurry testing. I've, I've, I'm using more of the products to um, do that. Am I using, like, so, you know, I'm using my medusas and my demeanors. What that was for if magnesium. he has a magnesium deficiency. Uh -huh. I'm doing that as part of my regular feeding. I'm either using those if I wasn't using those or I'm bumping those up a little bit to get there. Correct. And then, so just kind of go through, you know, day one, day two, day three. How, how does that all go? Sure. So what I would just, when you have a, a, a soil problem, mm -hmm. either too many per million or your pH is out of whack, you use a herc flush, which mm -hmm. is Herculean Harvest and Ollie Up. Mm -hmm. That will get your pH and your part per million in line. Right. Now, since it's out of whack, your plant's not pulling up the elements it should. So at the same time, I'll do a day one, I'll do a drench, a herc flush drench. Uh -huh. Then the same day, if I'm having a magnesium issue, I will foliar spray Epsom salt or I'll foliar spray mag amp or okay. um, I'll you know, put magnesium, soluble magnesium on the leaves itself. I'll foliar spray okay. at the same time that I'm trying to adjust the pH. Sure. Okay. Um, if I'm having a nitrogen problem and my pH is out of whack, I'll, uh -huh. I'll do a herc flush and then day one, the same day, I'll spray Pegasus Potion and Trigger together okay. on the same day. Then the day two, I'll, you know, drench the Pegasus Potion with my feeds. Uh -huh. um, day three, I'm, I'll check the, the PPM again. Okay. And then I'll, or pH and PPM and figure out where I'm at okay. and go from there. So the practical um, a, a, a choice would be like, if you have a magnesium deficiency, flush, uh -huh. four-year spray magnesium, four-year spray magnesium, four-year spray magnesium. Okay. Um, you, you want to take about a week for corrective action. Okay. Let me ask you this too. So uh, that gives me a pretty good idea, but I'll tell you that while I'm doing this, a lot of times I might be using a tea day, or I may be using full on as part of my thing, and I'm certainly using some SLF in my feeds and things. How do these things, my tea day, using a full on uh, foliar that I'm doing, um, do these things get dropped when I'm dealing with my deficiency, or am I still doing these things as part of my regimen? Usually you want to, um, depends on your issues, but usually okay. you want to focus on making sure your slurries are in line. Getting just, everything back in line. And just supplementing with foliar spraying or supplementing with other products. Okay, uh, so then, I might hold off on, on i probably still use my SLF in uh -huh. my thing. I might, any kind of supplements or uh, my Megafoss or my Bigfoot, well, not my Bigfoot, but you know, these kind of things, I'd probably hold off on these and focus on fixing my situation. Yeah. Okay, diagnose, 
fix your situation, then use your auxiliary items. Okay. Don't just, you can't ignore the problem and just use your auxiliary items without sure. the problem being, being well, corrected because you can put whatever you want in there, but if you, don't, there. if you don't flush your soil, you don't fix your soil numbers, okay. you can put whatever you want in there, it's still not going to get up into the plant. So I'm doing my feed, feed, tea, feed, feed, flush situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm on my tea day when this I realize this is going on. Do I suspend my tea day or do I do it the next day or what? Scrap your schedule, go straight to flushing. Straight to flushing, just, fixing my situation. Just, just ignore your schedule, go straight to flushing, fix your situation. Then once you, your slurry numbers are intact, then you carry on from there of, okay, okay flush, flush, flush. My soil numbers are finally good after the third uh, okay. flush. Then I'll feed. Then I'll feed, and then I'll tea again, and oh, I'll feed. Okay. Then I'll go back to the feed, feed, okay. tea, feed, feed, flush. So I might, I'd be, I'd be flushing every day and checking my slurry. Mm -hmm. Okay, every let day. me ask you that. Okay, so I, I, I do my flush, I do, and I do my feed. Mm -hmm. How long do I wait before I do my next slurry test? You want to wait till the soil's moist. You want to wait till it dries out. Okay, so, so everything's want... drained out. That's going to drain out, and it's just got some moist soil, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm good. So. Is that an hour? Is that three hours? Is that five hours? Depends is that... on how big the pot is. Depends on how thirsty the plant. Um, okay. If you have a big pot, it's going to take a you know, less thirsty plant. It's going to take longer. If you have a three gallon pot and your plant's four feet tall, you're going to be drinking once a day. Okay. So you can probably slurry once a day, once every other day. But I'm not looking for just the, 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 the water I drained and some drains out five minutes later. I'm looking no. for the plant to actually start taking up the, the water first, and drying out the, the, the pot a little exactly. bit. Exactly. You want the first top inch, half inch to an inch of soil to be dry. Okay. And then you want to dig down two inches and then you want to scoop that's it where and that's go. where you want to go. Okay. Um, but practically speaking, you want to make sure you're, you you do a hurt flush and it dries for the most part and then you collect it and then you do your slurry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that cover it? I think so. Okay. Then what I want to talk to you next, and we'll, we'll cut this episode off here, but what I want to talk to you next about is uh, sometimes I think we make our own deficiencies. This is a good example of that with the Herculean Harvest and the Bloom Chaos. Can we talk about that next time? Yeah, let's do it. Booyah. All right, then that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bloom Chaos coming in. Okay, that was fun. I think we covered that pretty well, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and we'll talk them over, get them sorted out for you. But otherwise, that's the video for today. Part four coming up where we're going to talk about Herculean harvest and bloom chaos and fixing deficiencies you may have created yourself through pushing real hard on the plant. That's the show for today. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show.